It is now time for 10 Minutes to Your Health, and joining us this morning, Dr. Arusha Campbell Chambers is a dermatologist of Dermatology Solutions Skin Clinic and Medispa. She will be here to inform us about the process of laser hair removal, its advantages and its disadvantages. Good morning and welcome to Smile. Thank you for having Good me, Kylie. Great to be here. So let's get right into the meat of it. What exactly is laser hair removal? Okay, well firstly, a laser is a medical device that delivers light energy, let's say to the skin, and in the skin it selectively targets certain tissues. So for example, it may target um, the pigment in the skin, the pigment in the hair itself, melanin, and it destroys this melanin and thereby destroying the hair follicle and selectively um, spares Selectively the skin. Yeah, spares that the skin. is key yes. because we have melanin in our skin. I need it. Yes. Most of us. And then some lasers are even safer on dark skin types where there's melanin and it destroys the melanin in the hair while leaving the skin intact. So just so by this is very important. applying a special light, we can yes. remove hair. Yes. So this is really oh. phenomenal because as you may know, there are lots of methods of hair removal, but a lot of them are problematic. I mean, you have, for example, shaving, shaving most common. which is most common. It's cheap um, and it's convenient. It's relatively quick. However, it's particularly in black skin types, we have a lot of problems with razor bumps, dark spots left behind, scarring. Um, I actually did my thesis on razor bumps, so yes. I'm really passionate wow. about this. Okay. Um, because I even have fam family members who have yes. been severely affected wow. by this disorder. And I can't tell you how many times I've cut myself shaving. <laughs> I tell you, that's, that, that, that is certainly one disadvantage of shaving. And you know, it can be very devastating to the individual, in particular women who have facial hair, um, to deal with shaving, Tweezing, yes. this too can leave the bumps and the dark spots behind. Tweezing seems like torture to me. It's like, let me well, individually pull out Precisely. Your... You individually remove the hair shaft. Um, it's probably more suitable for small areas, like mm -hmm. for instance, the eyebrows yes. and so on. But if you have a lot of facial hair, it's not going to be very practical. And then it also leaves bumps and dark spots behind. Waxing There's seems waxing. to be popular now. Waxing is popular. What a lot of people like about it is that it lasts longer than shaving, the hair removal that is. So usually on average, if you wax an area, it may last two to three weeks. However, and it works well for some people. However, it's not without problems because in some people, they can be very sensitive to the actual wax that is oh, used. Okay. Some people, it can cause bumps to develop. It can cause, again, dark spots. And let's not talk about the pain. And Yes, let's not talk <laughs> about the pain. <laughs> so, and you also have threading, which um, is an, an ancient method that's used where they, you have to be trained to do this, yes, of course, where, where they, they, the thread is actually moved around um, so and like rotated. It's like a tweezer, but it, it uses a thread instead. It's a thread, yeah. yeah. So the hair is actually trapped in the thread, and this is pulled out. That, okay. too, is not without pain. Uh, so <laughs> I can imagine, especially um, if they do it wrong. Precisely. So let's talk about then so the laser. laser hair. Right. right. So here comes laser hair removal, where we can remove the, the hair without the bumps, usually without a lot of the drawbacks yes. and for once women in particular and men who have you know deal with razor bumps yes. can deal with removing the hair without so bumps so it's really phenomenal i'm really excited about it and simon <laughs> would say there's got to be a rub so anything that works as well right. is going to be more expensive um usually it may be if you look at it per treatment but in the long run, it's more cost effective, I find, because it gives you a very long term of hair removal. And how long is For the instance, long term? Right. This varies. What studies have shown is that with about two to six treatments, each of them done about a month apart, you can get as much as 80% permanent hair reduction. Now, I like to give patients realistic expectations. So for instance, after, with each treatment, the hairs get sparser and each individual hair is thinner. And then you get to a point where you Just may not need a treatment for a year. So imagine having no yes. hair, no bumps, yes. no nothing. No shaving, no waxing, no, no, shaving, no waxing for a year. So if you look at that, the cost certainly, you know, it, it, it can be more. Out. Yeah, and okay. it has been shown scientifically to actually reduce depression <laughs> in these women. No, seriously, who have to deal with this problem. Where is, when, when we look at the body, we right. have eyebrows, we have other facial hair, we have underarms, we have legs, and right. certainly for women also look at the bikini area. Men may look at chest and such. Right. Which area is laser removal best suited for or not ideal for? 
Okay, it is not ideal for the eyebrow area because the it's obviously very close to the eye and we don't want the laser too close to that area. So that's, you know, one obvious area I would say. However, it's very it's suitable for lots of areas. Um, you know, other facial hair, chest, back, bikini, armpits, um, you name it. And the laser that um, we've recently acquired at Dermatology Solutions in Ann Martin, the Aerolace laser. Mm -hmm. I am really excited about it because the technology is very advanced. With a traditional laser, a gel is applied and you move it along the skin and it actually touches the skin. With the Aerolace laser, it is off the skin, so it's very hygienic. You don't touch the skin and you don't need any gels, anything, nice. and you just move it over the area. So you can imagine any you know, area can actually be targeted with this laser. And um, it's gentler and less painful than traditional lasers. The beauty about it is that we always do a test treatment before we actually do the full treatment. Mm -hmm. So we use different settings and we see what works best for your skin. So the patient has an opportunity to experience what it's like, see you know, that it may not be very painful. If that p particular patient finds it painful, we can offer them topical anesthetic. But usually with this laser, it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really phenomenal. So give me an idea of, of the time required. When it comes to shaving, you know, it's two, two, two three minutes and you're done. Right. Waxing takes a little while longer. How long does it take for the average laser removal treatment? Right. This would vary depending on the area being treated. However, um, for instance, facial hair can be removed in about 15 minutes mm -hmm. because you're just passing the laser over the area of skin. So it's, it's relatively quick. Naturally, legs would take longer. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, so I can just come, I can set an appointment, I can come in. Right, what we're doing, we're offering free laser consultations and a free test spot. So you have nothing to lose, yes. you come in, we do a consultation with you, it's just like any other medical consultation, but giving you more information about the laser, you know, side effects, who isn't a good candidate, who's a good candidate. And then we do a test treatment, and then we bring you back to assess the results and, and take it from That's there. Good. Yes. When I think of hair removal, I must admit, I think predominantly of aesthetic purposes. Sure. But my very smart producer reminded me that hair removal is also good for hygiene in some cases. Is that right? Well, this, there are a lot of myths about this. Um, people choose to remove hair for different reasons. It may be, and it's usually a personal choice. Um, it may be because of, the, the, they may be influenced by their society, by the culture in which they live. Um, and, you know, by personal choice, as I said, for women with unwanted facial hair, for them it is an absolute necessity. Um, for men with, with, you know, with, who have to work, for some uh, men, for instance, soldiers, they need to be clean shaven so that they, the gas masks and so on can fit tightly. So they have to remove the hair. Um, so people remove it for different reasons. In terms of the hygiene, it has not been shown that removing hair necessarily means you have good hygiene. So it's really up a to the individual. Okay. Um, it, it's neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. right? If you, you know, exercise good yes. personal hygiene, you'll be fine okay. just the same, but it's a matter of personal preference. All right. So another thing we haven't discussed yet, we discussed all the side effects of the other hair removal sure. treatments. What about the side effects of laser? Right. Well, as I said, some lasers are not suited for darker skin types because, um, for instance, with hair removal, you target the, the pigment, and so you have to be careful not to affect this, the pigment in the skin. However, the NDIAG, like the Aerolace Light Pod laser, is suited for this. Um, you can get um, also dark spots developing, mm -hmm. light spots, blistering, crusting, scarring. However, you know, I've, been, I've done laser treatments in England, in the Bahamas, <coughs> and now here. And once you work with a good laser yes. and you do your test spots, usually you don't have no much of a problem. Okay. So that's the very important, um, that's the importance of actually doing the test spots so that you can screen for different problems. Um, now, not every individual is probably suited to it. If you have been on, let's say, roaccutane, mm -hmm. which is a, a vitamin A type oral medication for acne treatment that uh -huh. makes the skin very sensitive, if you've been on that for the last six, year, six months to a year, then maybe you, you, know, you, you should not have laser hair removal done at that time. And if you're pregnant, mm -hmm. um, you know, you it's best to wait. Yes. Um, if you, you are prone to, um, if you've had significant problems with laser in the past, 
Um, it's, it's best to wait. If you're using topical medications that may make the skin more irritated, mm -hmm. then it's best to wait for at least two weeks or so before, before. doing the treatment. Okay. So we need to, the, the consultation is very important. I know you have nothing to lose because you can get a free consultation right. and a free test part. Yes. That's great to know. <laughs> so I'll, I'll encourage everyone to go out and try it. You have nothing to lose. Certainly. Dr. Arusha Campbell Chambers, the dermatologist at Dermatology Solutions Skin Clinic and Medispa. Thanks again for joining us for 10 minutes. Thanks for having me. It's been my pleasure. Uh, <laughs>